half time here at the Charters Community Stable, which has been Winchester City Harrow Borough. It's a Winchester City Neil Harrow Borough one. Due to technical difficulties, we couldn't do a full uh, pre game pre game match report, shall we say. So we're doing it now. So it's basically 1 0. Kev, it's not been the best game, shall we say. But it's a safe shall we say. Yeah, it is. I mean, they've got an early penalty, Harrow. Um, which you could say the forward were very clever the way he won it. Yeah. Um, and it dispatched the penalty really well. But we've struggled to really create anything, which is not like us at all. No. Uh, then obviously we give away another penalty. Price has made a brilliant save to finish in the game. Uh, but a massive, massive improvement in the second half to get the hint of the game. Yeah, I've got to say, it's not. it's been probably the most uneventful 45 minutes of our season. I think it's a, a fair. Yeah. Point. When there's about as many people in the clubhouse as there is out watching the game on the pitch, you know that. No, we're not playing that well, but um, we, we do have these tendencies to be up and down, so hopefully we can improve second half. Kind of like we can. Yeah, the weather is shocking, let's yeah. just put it that way. You but it's see, the same, for, see, yeah. as you can see, That's it's the same point. for both teams, we have to say that. Yeah. So, um, hopefully a big improvement in the second half, and um, we will see you at uh, full time. And welcome to the full time report here at the Charters Community Stadium. It's Switch City 1, Harrow Borough 2. Uh, to say the least, it's been a disappointing day, would be an understatement. Yes, you can, it would be. Um, not in the races at all today, no idea why. Um, the teams that are at the bottom of the end of the table we seem to struggle against them. Yeah, I call it a bad day at the office, but yeah, just we didn't play well at all. Credit to Harrow, they played well, they yep. scored a couple of good goals, one penalty, another good goal. To, Beginning of the second half, uh, so well done to them for yeah. putting in a good performance. But yeah, we could play a hell of a lot better than we did today. Lucky it was a three for the Prices yeah, penalty yeah, save. Credit to the Prices saving the penalty at the beginning of the, the uh, end of the first end half. End of first so half. First half. Yeah, yeah, sorry, end of the first half. Um, so yeah, we were lucky to get away with just two ones. Yeah. Uh, Pete, as I said, not a good day at the office. It doesn't get any easier, of course, Tuesday night for a at Merv. But Connor Lynch, though, he's the one bright spark from today, I think, when he came on. He's come on, scored a goal. Um, it can't be far for him to get a, a call up to the side. Yeah, I mean, like you say, it doesn't get any easier, does it? Playing Murphy next, but I'm trying to look for like you know parallels. We, we, we lost to Didcot and then beat Chesham. Nobody yeah. gave us a chance that yeah. time. So, so yeah, um, strange game. Just, just a strange game. Obviously, it doesn't help. Them. You know, you see the penalty after two minutes because you're chasing the game. I guess anybody in this league is going to be hard. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we'll go again Tuesday and, you know, they've got a 3G pitch and that will probably suit our, the way we play. So here's hoping we can go there and get a result. No, I, Kev, also, I don't understand what, with us at the moment, our home form is not the best in the league. No, it's not. I, it wasn't good last season, to no. be honest. Um, I think it's probably the way we play. We like to play on the counter attack. Yeah. Uh, which obviously you don't do at home, you, you're the sort of home team, you've got to take the game to the opposition. New initiative. Uh, yeah, well, there is that as well. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very strange. Like, we've got, because the players on the day, as we know in the season, we yes. can put in a performance against the team at the top of the league, yes. running away with the league as they think, and we can go and beat them. But then we go, again, no, no disrespect to Didcot or Harrow, they're struggling this season, and we, we've not won the game, we've lost both games, and yes. it's, it's baffling, because really, the players, can, we know they're good enough to win these games but yeah it's, it's, it's very baffling it is indeed play. so Tuesday night as we said talking which will be there yes unlike, as always we're as always, always there unlike other people away. Uh, anyway move anyway, on anyway, <laughs> okay, yeah, again. but anyway so we will be there yeah we'll and be off the yeah so we, we all have we've all booked yep. time off um, it's going to be a mountain but you know in winch We'll probably go and get a win or a draw. Uh, well, do you know, I've got very happy memories of Merthyr. Yeah. Five years ago, we went there when we were, they were a league above us in the FA Cup, and it was like nobody gave us a chance. We turned them away a 4 1. Yeah. So, you know, I wouldn't write us off at all. I mean, this, I think it's it's sort of the typical of this league that anybody can, anybody on their day, and we know how good we can be. Yeah, exactly. And I, I definitely think. Like Kev was sort of alluding to, we can we do seem to raise our game against the better teams. Yeah. No disrespect to what I said to Harrow that I couldn't deserve their win today. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I wouldn't go there thinking we're gonna get hammered three point up. I'm surprised if we've got two one. Yeah. Be nice, I'll check yeah. 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 But, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. And I'm now joined by the Winchester City manager, uh, Davo. I don't know what to say. Really disappointing uh, result today. 
What's your views on the game? Went down ten men, battered them, showed up for we were with eleven. Um, yeah, the lads let themselves down, let me down, got down to them. Uh, there was also an incident in midway through the second half with a goal that was ruled out for Winchester. It was flagged for offside, and he's clearly onside. I know it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, we point out to one of the things, but it, he is clearly onside. I've seen it, it's about 45 yards on, and it's a joke. Yeah. But it's um, off his half as well. Two penalties, so we had the rubber at ring. No, uh, again, do you think our uh, home form's a little bit worrying, or do you, what do you put that down to at the moment, Dave? Uh, can't really put a finger on it. Obviously, the pitch ain't great. How far does it not play good football on it? Um, and all the pitch stuff today is positioned. Fortunate to have the game on, really. Um, uh, it's pretty precarious at times. Uh, so I think it's largely to do with that. Yeah. Uh, tough game coming up Tuesday night away at Murphy. I know talking Winchester with them, there's going to be a few Winchester fans going to be there. Um, uh, what are your hopes for Tuesday night, obviously? And um, what, are our, uh, what are our squad looking like? Sorry. Um, yeah, we're trying to work out who, who can or can't make it. Um, it's not easy. <coughs> Get people out of work and that sort of stuff. So we'll be as strong as we can. I think the fact that the game is. That scheduled fixture is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. But um, yeah, we're um, yeah we're looking forward to going out and do a tough game. Um, we're going to have to look at performances. You know, I've always said that you need next this lot. If we'd have played well, we'd have won. It's simple as that. So if we don't play well, we'll have no chance. So that's what we're going to trade on. Okay. Well, all the best for Tuesday night, Dave, and thanks for your time. Anyway, we will speak to you next time. Same which time, same which show.